the most useful thing is finding one output, maximum two outputs. And in here instead, you have something that you can use for very different situations. Of course, you have solutions that allow you to handle many layers of video and uh, to do different things with them, do different effects, but they have uh, something in common, or at least most of them. What they have, when we're speaking of this level of uh, product, is that they have uh, a software-based environment. Uh, what I would like to show is why it's interesting not to have a software-based environment or to have something that's part of the own system you're using. The first thing we see here in the machine is that you can configure your inputs and outputs more or less uh, in any way you want. For outputs, you have a program output, a preview output, and a multi-view output that you can use to watch your sources in a separate screen. You also have two onboard monitors that will show you your program output, your preset output, and also your preview screen with all the sources you will be using. And the sources can be configured in any way you want. I mean, you can have HDMI, you can have HDSDI, you can have USB, which is very useful when you have a set of small videos that come in a memory stick, for example. You have to do something fast for a customer, they need a quick source, they can show up on the screen, just plug it in, see it on your preview monitor, and when it's necessary, you get it in the live stream. You can also have DVI inputs, and you can have, which is very important if you're working live, a redundant power supply that will prevent you from a power failure or something like that. It also has some nifty things like tally outputs, which means you can see what uh, you can see which source is in the air, and you can have this source represented in a graphical manner when you want to see it's the one that's going out the the program. So, speaking about ergonomy. One of the most important things to remember is that if you are working with a machine, and I could tell you about analog way or things like that, you have to go, imagine you want to show a source on screen. You have to go to a menu, you have to click your mouse in a couple places. You can even create a button that will be good exactly for that source, and then you show the source. The problem with this is that we are working live. We are technicians working on a live event, on a live environment. Instead of clicking a menu, instead of going through a menu and finding the option we want, what this has, it's ergonomic configurations. If you see my hands, I know what my hand is doing here and I know what my hand is doing there. This hand, for example, is sending the take. So I will choose what I show on screen for my audience to see. But this hand can handle the sources. I can choose what layer I'm going to open. I can choose in here which source is going to be in that layer. I'm going to see visually what's happening. Right now I know that source number four is on screen. So the audience is seeing Source 4. They are seeing an OSD, they are seeing a logo, and they are also seeing a, uh, a still picture. So they are seeing all of this, the OSD, the still picture, and the logo. I know, just with a glance, what my audience is seeing right now on screen. Also, the control of what my audience is going to see next, I can see it here. I can see the sources I have ready. With this hand, I can choose to move one source. I can change the size. I can also do it with a keyboard, so these numbers will become, if I go, for example, to size, I know where this source is, and I know, for example, which scale I want it to have. If I want to make it, instead of 607, 800, I can just go here and click the 800. Then I click here, and the, search, and the size has changed. This is very important, because it means that it has ergonomy. It's much faster to use. If I had to go through a couple menus, touch a couple buttons, and change things, it will, be, it will take longer. This way, if I'm controlling the event, my mind is on controlling the event. My fingers more or less know where they are. My hand knows where it is. So I can handle all sources and uh, the previous screen and what I'm seeing on screen, which a stream is. Everything the system can do is at the touch of one hand. I can even go faster and choose a preview setting and have a totally preset configuration. Then right hand takes it on screen. Of course, the translations to screen are configurable. I can do different kind of takes, different kind of swipes, and even I can do it automatically. But you'll find that in a live situation, people prefer the take. Because this way, I can even leave it in the middle, if I'm not doing a cut. You have it at cut, by the way. <laughs> so, another thing this has is a multitude of liars. I've seen in some situations that people think that having a lot of layers, it's better. It is not, because uh, what we have here is an audience. Attentional resources in a normal person are something that's finite. It's, some, it's something that's not unlimited. 
So people can pay attention to, let's say, four stimulus at once. You give them five, you give them six, uh, attention starts uh, to drift. You can be creative with it, but usually, if you see most presentations, or, or at least the effective presentations, you will see they have two sources on screen and a background. The background provides a general ambience. The two, uh, the two stimulus on screen, the two layers that you have on screen, show you something you can pay attention to. It can be a video, usually it's a video of someone speaking, for example, and the other is a presentation, when the real information is. You want to draw attention to this presentation. So uh, the kind of uh, layers this system has, which is four layers plus a background, you'll see that it's normally very useful for any kind of presentation. I'd even say that no one goes to have four sources on screen on a background because that's <coughs> uh, too much for the normal presentation. This has, however, a very interesting capability, which is the capability of it has two program outputs and you can mix the program outputs. You can do a presentation like this, panoramic presentation, the, 2K, 1K, uh, the 4K to 1K, which is showing a high definition here and a high definition here, which has exactly the same image. The good thing with that is that on a big screen, let's say you are doing a presentation on a big LED screen, which is something that's very popular right now on big presentations, on auditoriums, on meeting rooms, big meeting rooms. We have installed some, uh, some installations that have this kind of output mechanism. What you can do then is you do a big background covering both, uh, both screens. This can be done with any of the layers or can be done with a background. And then you open normally two layers. You could open up to three, but in this case, this is extremely useful because what you're going to have on such a big screen situation is actually two layers. With a third, you can use to jump between one and the other in case you need it. Another important thing this has in the matter of outputs is that it has a quad output here, the auxiliary output, which can be extremely useful uh, in this case, not only for live presentation, can also be extremely useful for um, fixed installations. For example, we have set up recently a fixed installation where you, we are using this to show the presenters what's being seen on screen or what they will see on screen or to send them information or to let them check one source before it goes on screen. Also, if you have reinforcement monitors, you can use either a program output if you use them in mirror mode or you can use any of your outputs to send one of the sources, for example, for recording or to a video conferencing system. So this is actually not just a mixer that works on an environment where traditionally a mixer would be. It can also be an AV central. It can act as a matrix and it can act as a presentation switcher, which uh, all in all gives you a high flexibility when you have to show it or when you have to use it on any kind of environment. Another thing it has is presets. <coughs> That's kind of common, everybody has presets, but this has up to 36 presets, which can be very useful for depending what you do. And also, if you want to see, for example, your auxiliary mode would be set up here, and if you go to auxiliary mode, you will see what's being shown on your auxiliary output. And changing any of the outputs, it's as simple as, uh, as identifying the layer where you are working can be for example this would be layer one and in layer one you can choose uh, for example another source let's say three once you've done that you do a take and it's been shown wherever you have the auxiliary output okay <laughs> i wasn't seeing it <laughs> and it can be independent of the program output so you don't have to bother what uh, with your main presentation when you change the output you're sending, for example, for recording. That's another extremely useful feature. So I'd say that besides the inputs, which is very good because you can have all the inputs you need, the outputs are one of the key features of this product. Nothing has the, this kind of outputs and nothing has the flexibility these outputs have. Because uh, in here, I'd say that I could use it for different monitors, but I could also use it for a video wall system. If I use that for a video wall system or for two LED totems you have beside the main screen, then you have uh, your whole presentation engine in just one machine that you take in a single flight use. Uh, the key to that is that this apps that I'm showing here, in here, for example, you see that this auxiliary output has a source between two screens. I can do this in vertical, I can do this in horizontal, or, or I could have a single source across those screens. Easily, you can imagine that this would be used, for example, for a support video wall to have behind or besides the main screen or two totems 
on both sides of the screen or a choice of monitors all across the auditorium.